The eight-mile interurban service 21 operated one way in and out of St Vincent Street, the cars diverging at Tradeston. As far as Crookston, the 21 shared tracks with the 22 and 32, along Paisley Road West, through Halfway and Cardonald. Beyond Crookston, the 21 became more interurban in character, with loading islands at several stops. Nine two nine, one of Eldersley's former semi-high speed cars, is rostered to pick up churchgoers on a Sunday working from Hawkhead Road, Paisley. A typical Sunday morning scene. Glasgow Road. Central Paisley with a city-bound 21. The focus of operations was Paisley Cross. Loading islands existed on the east side for Service 21. Whilst local Service 28 crossed at right angles. West of the cross was the narrow high street. Paisley West and its three track layout added by Glasgow Corporation. The rails from the cross to Eldersley were also used for depot journeys on service 28. Note the cardboard route number on this car. Showing a good turn of speed, a standard lurches magnificently through Paisley West. A Graham's bus en route for Linwood passes trams at Fergusley Mills. Eldersley Terminus, a 44-minute ride from Glasgow. Housed at Eldersley Depot was ex-Paisley car 1068, retained for preservation since 1953. It is now fully restored to original condition at the National Tramway Museum at Creich in Derbyshire. Latterly, Eldersley housed 18 coronations and 18 standards, plus the five experimental lightweights. These cars were latterly confined to P-car workings on service 28. Here, a 1003 takes up service in the autumn of 1956. The 28 required 22 cars in P cars. Whereas the over the boundary services closed during 1956 had all incurred losses, the 28 returned a profit, earning it the nickname the gold mine. A bullion car was even employed carrying the takings to the Bank of Scotland. The money being taken in under the watchful eye of depot clerk, Jim Caldwell. The 28 had been financially transformed in 1949 with the introduction of coronations, which had encouraged increased ridership. 1266 to 1283 were on the service for eight years. Also road widening and post-war housing development further improved loadings as the trams held their own against a clutch of competing buses.
the semi-rural nature of Glenfield Terminus could still evoke memories of the former line to cross stops closed in 1949. Cars heading north were soon filled with residents from Glenburn and Potter Hill Estates. Lockfield Road crossover. Canal Street Station, Paisley. Causey Side Street crossover was used by short working cars from both directions. One of the steepest grades on the Glasgow system was the one in 12 up St Mirren Street Bray on the south side of Paisley Cross. Paisley Cross again, the hub of tramway operation. County Square. Cars for Renfrew made a right angled turn under Gilmore Street Station into Old Snedden Street. Then came the 34 yards of single track in Weir Street. Followed by another 90 degree turn into Renfrew Road. Abercorn Station. Approaching Paisley North, terminus of Service 4 since February 1954. Porterfield Road siding was opened in 1948 to accommodate peak hour specials and prevent hold-ups on the main road. Traffic was generated from the giant Babcock and Wilcox engineering works. At approximately 5.20, Cars from Eldersley and Govan depots would line up in Porterfield Road and then over a seven minute spell depart almost in convoy. These evocative scenes at Moor Park, just south of Porterfield Road. Fully laden, lightweight number six, head south towards Paisley. Renfrew Cross and a four turns east for Govan. The imposing edifice of Renfrew Town Hall. Approaching Renfrew Ferry, northern terminus of the 28. Note the vehicles waiting to embark on the chain ferry to Yoker, only a short walk from trams on the busy Dumbarton Road. Twenty-seven minutes was allowed for the five and a quarter mile run to Glenfield.
Renfrew Cross was terminus for Service 27. Approaching Renfrew Cross from Hillington Road. The 4 and 27 were now cut back to Hillington Road crossover at the city boundary. One of the last 21s is filmed leaving St Vincent Street, Glasgow on May the 11th, 1957. The former Paisley Company depot at Eldersley was closed, all its allocation going to other depots. The replacement of the 5 and 5A by bus service 43 continued the corporation's strategy to release 300 obsolete cars. In the distance we see a 5A swinging onto the Great Western Road. This part of Hindon Road opened in 1924. The Hindon shops at the junction with Clarence Drive.